Let's talk about the build standpoint, the robustness of the range. Is it well constructed? And I say to you, I give you a hearty yay. Um, absolutely, you know, my, my whole thing is I like to open the oven door. I like to feel the way the hand, I like to, you know, get a grip on the handle, see how it feels, see how the door opens, how it closes. You don't have things rattling all over the place like some other ranges. It just feels, it's just well built, okay? The burner caps, solid, the grates, very, very strong. Um, when we were unpacking the thing, you know, stuff wasn't moving all over the place. The knobs, the knobs don't feel cheap. They don't feel like, you know, I mean, I'm not saying that they're tried and true throughout stainless. They're not. They're probably coated, but they don't feel like they're about to fall off. It's important. Um, you take the racks, you move the racks over here, you know, it's... They don't, even like some of the telescopic racks and some of the other ranges I've noticed, they, they just feel like they're, there's wobbling too much. They're not secure. These glide out effortlessly, okay? Um, so they definitely have had a home run in that sense about how the thing is built and designed. Here's the fourth issue, which is absolutely critical to Viking's success moving forward, and that is the issue of trust, okay? Um, it's no surprise a Viking has a terrible reputation if you go online. Um, there's a ton of negative sentiment out there about them, um, some of it deserved. Uh, there's, there were a lot of issues with the products five, the last five to seven years, refrigerators, dishwashers, etc. Yes, it was a past regime, but the collateral damage lives on. Um, Viking realizes that, and they've manned up, and they've owned up to it, and they said, hey, listen, we're so confident in the new product that we are rolling out with over here, we're going to do a couple of things for you. We're going to give you a three-year warranty. Nobody in the business offers that three-year warranty, okay? I, sh I should say nobody in the business who's actually um, relevant offers that. So you're going to tell me right now, somebody comes in here and says, I just heard all these negative things about Viking. I mean, the product looks nice, the features are cool, but I, I just don't trust the brand. Three-year warranty, 90-day no quibble policy, okay, that they're going to offer on this. So to me, there really is no risk. So again, they're standing behind the product. They're saying, trust us, trust us. And another thing to consider, which can go under the trust factor, it also can go under the build factor, which I just talked about, is the fact that they have moved to a one-in-one -one quality assurance process in their production facility, okay, in their factory. What do I mean by one-in-one? Um, every single range, every single product that is rolling out of Viking is being hand-tested, hand-checked by a human. They didn't do that in the past. They were checking one in 15, maybe one in 30, maybe one in whenever the shift boss actually decided to check something. I don't know what they were doing. I can tell you that major appliance manufacturers, really big, the big guys, the Titans out there, okay, the GE's, Whirlpools, they don't do one in one. They can't, okay? It's inefficient from a production standpoint. So what they do is they test one in 15, one in 30 or so, which is still statistically relevant. It's actually, from a production standpoint, it passes the, the basically the confidence test, okay? Um, Viking can't afford to do that anymore. And they said to themselves, you know what? Hey, we're going to test every single product that rolls out of here. And actually, I don't have it with me right now. It's actually across the room. I'm not going to grab it right now. There was a checklist that was handwritten by the person in the factory saying, I checked this, I checked this, blah, blah, blah. So they are absolutely stepping up when it comes to quality assurance, trust, assurance. It's important to know that because you are going to make an investment in these products. Regarding price, where are we with this? 36 inch, six burners, gas. Don't have the definitive final numbers yet, but I'm going to make a prediction that's going to be somewhere north of seven grand. It's probably going to be, I'm going to say around $7,500. Like, whoa, there's other pro ranges that are out there that are like in the high fives or low sixes or mid sixes. This is a, this is a grand more. How do we justify that? Well, you look at the feature set because they are, they, it, uh, let's just call a spade a spade. Look at the math. It's bringing more to the table than some of these other ranges are. It's 23,000 BTUs. Who's offering that in a sealed burner system? Okay. Then you look at, the other things that is coming to the table with, such as the warranty, such as the no quibble policy, um, there is going to be a package promotion on this with a free dishwasher, I believe. So you have to justify it to yourself whether spending up like this is going to make sense for you. One other thing, which I was almost remiss in mentioning, is uh, from a feature standpoint, um, they're actually offering the Heaven Me Probe, and they are also offering this wonderful kitchen thermometer yes um, what this does it's actually a Bluetooth connected thermometer can you see that yes there we go and what this will allow will actually will, will, will con you connect it 
through this port on the side over here. And what this does when your oven gets to temperature for whatever you're cooking, um, it will notify your phone. So you don't have to babysit the range. That is totally cool. I love that. They are baking, no pun intended, technology into the range without oh, getting too you today, folks. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'm so excited this range is here. Uh, I'm very psyched to sell it. And I want to give a, a hearty congratulations to the folks of Viking. I know how long you worked on this product. It looks fantastic. So uh, uh, Godspeed to you all. Um, and I'm again, I'm very excited about selling this. So if you want to see it, um, it's probably only going to be, it's probably going to be here exclusively for about two weeks. So I, I implore you, please come visit Connecticut, Jersey, New York City, all over Westchester. Come down to Curtis because we have it here. I don't think anybody else is going to have it. Um, and that's about it. Any questions, Jonathan at Curtis.com, call, email, whatever. Thank you again for your time.